Hey, this is Adam. Thanks for watching our Amber Cosplay Cinematic. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing something a little different and include the behind the scenes along with the cinematic. So let's give this a go. Uh, anyhow, here's some insight on what went into making this video. So for this one, we had the pleasure of working with Anna, who was cosplaying Amber. Also had more hands to help out on this one with her friend Jim, uh, my sister and her boyfriend joining us. Again, thank you to everyone that came out to shoot with us. Our location for this one was at the Sammamish Lake State Park. As usual, I like this location because it had a variety of different areas in itself, from the forest, a lake view, and it had this big, open, tall grass field. I think for music videos, not just cosplay videos, uh, having three or more locations or different looking scenes is great to have. Uh, this makes your overall story feel bigger, so even though there's this spot that stands out for a shoot, maybe there's like this cool tree or like, I don't know, this wall that you really like. You know, with video storytelling though, you know, that one spot can get kind of bland pretty quickly, so I really enjoy places that have a variety of looks and is easy enough to access. It was also exciting to try out some new equipment and ideas for the shoot since we haven't done any since the holidays. Uh, first off, trying out my new camera monitor, the Atomos Shinobi. This was a huge upgrade to me because compared to the tiny flip screen on the camera, this really gives you a much better idea of how the shot is going to look like, uh, framing and exposure wise. Uh, the Shinobi has an excellent picture quality and lets you download LUTs or lookup tables, which are kind of like filters for those who aren't familiar with color grading. Uh, LUTs are overall can kind of help you as a starting point or a direction for what the final picture may look like. Another thing which was kind of good and bad was the day before the shoot, I realized that I was missing a camera battery for my FX3. Now a lot of the places we shoot, we don't have access to electricity, so I don't usually plan on charging them on location. And three batteries have seemed to be enough to get through the amount of shooting we usually do. Uh, although with just two batteries, that kind of made me worry. Although it was a little janky looking, uh, my solution was to gap tape a power bank on my gimbal and charge it through the USB-C port, uh, which is on its side of the camera. Doing this, I pretty much was able to do a five hour shoot on a single battery. Now the reason I was a little surprised was I never really utilized the charging port on the camera before, and I was worried that it, it may be only enough as a trickle charge for when it's idle. But this thing kept it at 100% while shooting at 4K at 60 frames per second the whole time, uh, keeping the battery you know, charged until the battery bank was, itself was empty. So very happy that I can rely on this method and not need to worry too much about running out of power for future shoots. So now to talk about the actual shoot, we decided to start by the water first and wanted to get some cute shots of her running and looking out towards the horizon. Also because the lakeside might be the busiest later on, so we wanted to avoid people as much as possible. While we were getting things ready, we realized we didn't have the bow uh, that Anna was planning on bringing, but Jim and Anna made a pretty good makeshift bow to substitute in, and I was pretty happy that we were still able to get some bow action shots. Uh, speaking of the bow, here's kind of how those shots went down. For this one, we pretty much mimicked what we see in Amber's fighting animation, which is like a few quick shots, uh, a hop back, and then we had her shoot one charge shot, following up with her elemental burst to give it a nice flowing motion. Now I actually didn't have a camera movement pre-thought out yet, although with the idea of her pivoting around to shoot the elemental burst, I figured it'd be cool to revolve around her uh, for that cool parallax motion. Now, this one was of course not easy to nail down, so we did a lot of retakes for this one to get the camera movement and performance right. That's pretty what cool. just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Don't just... Did I get that? That's funny. <laughs> so we didn't have an arrow to shoot, but that was fine since in the game you don't really see the physical arrow being drawn too much, and things seem to just be able to conjure out of thin air, so I went along with the idea that it was kind of magically drawn and represented this with an energy arrow using Video Copilot's Saber plugin. For the tip of the arrow, I used a shockwave element uh, and topped it off with the optical flare from Video Copilot as well. Another angle I liked from this was capturing the perspective of the arrow being shot towards the sky. Uh, for this, we used a step stool to get a higher angle and I dollied away from her when she releases the string of the bow. Well, actually, Jim did this part since he's taller, which gave the arrow some extra air time than what I was able to do, but I think this was a really cool perspective to capture. For the dolly out shot of the arrows raining down, I actually didn't have a specific plan in mind on how to go about doing the visual uh, effects aspect of it. I was debating on using the Trapco particular uh, plugin to generate the arrows falling down, although I was worried about my PC that I wouldn't be able to handle the extra processing power using that plugin, you know, especially when I might have to do a lot of extensive adjustments to make the arrows appear and disappear in certain areas at the time. Uh, in this case, I used a simple shape layer stroke and tapered the ends uh, to be more pointed. I then created an animation of the shape dropping down, then turning that into a pre-comp layer. 
This way I had control over where each of these uh, shape layers were and that was important because I wanted it to be nicely spread out across the frame and not too many covering Anna's face, you know, as the shot progressed. Overall, great day of shooting, nice lighting, especially towards the end. And of course, I'm always dead after a shoot. Uh, anyways, I think that's all I'm going to have to say about this one. Make sure to go give Anna a follow on her social media as well. Links will be in the description below. Of course, I'll give you the normal YouTuber spiel. Uh, if you enjoy our content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Of course, always love when you leave comments. The goal for this year is to qualify for the YouTube Partner Program. This means meeting the criteria of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of accumulated watch time. So I'd really appreciate any support in sharing this channel and the content we make. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.